So, um, if you have an HTC One M7, mine is the AT&T one, and you go through the process of going through the settings, the AT&T software updates, check for updates, Eventually, like happened to me, you'll find out that you have one waiting for you, and I had the lollipop update waiting. So you start downloading it. It's 860.4 megabytes, and I highly recommend that you have everything on your phone backed up, like pictures, music, files, that you be close to your Wi-Fi router so you don't accidentally leave the range, and more importantly, that you leave your phone plugged in it just takes a lot of battery and if you're uh, near that 35 percent window a t t warns about you might run out of battery here we are a few minutes later and the update has been completely downloaded I'm going to scoot this up just a little bit more so you can see the edge of the screen all 800 megabytes were fully downloaded here we are let's continue the download let's continue the installation it looks like we just got a reboot in the whole process Let's see what's going on here. Oh, there's the reboot. Where uh, the ROM boots up. 800 megabytes. This should be the Lollipop download. We'll come back in a few moments when um, this is more through that process again. Um, we're going back through a bit of a reboot process. Reboot. AT&T screen, slightly different sound. Well, here we go. Android is upgrading, and apparently there were 311 apps total that were upgrading for Android Lollipop. Some of those will be the native HTC ones, some of those will be the ones from Google or other publishers that have made it to the Play Store. This is going to take a little while, so... Um, I'm going to make sure that my phone is charging. And then we're going to go and uh, we're going to let this do its own thing for a little bit. We'll be back in a few moments. All right, we're on app 311. It's starting to upgrade. It's upgrading all the databases. This is taking a while now. I've been at this for pretty close to uh, 15 minutes. So it's just taking a while, and that's all right. Uh, it's working out pretty nicely and uh, so now we're doing media we were just on contacts now we're doing media database and let's see what keeps going on here comes the boot we're gonna reboot now HTC I'm gonna unplug so none of the mounting tries to play any havoc with it and there we have a complete reboot. We're going through and grabbing the weather, all the temperatures and everything. You'll notice a few distinct changes. The lock icon is a little different already. Let's see what happens. Seems like it took a little while to decide everything it was going to do. I had to go through a little bit of a manual process. Um, screen kind of flashed off, HTC display was there again and um, here we are back at the page notice there's an Android icon in the back um, and we're gonna go through some of this okay so first off it checks my email that was pretty cool it was nice of it get notifications faster see item before you unlock We'll set that up in a little bit. Right now there's an application that needs an update. So we're going to go grab whatever it is that we currently need. Looks like Google Play Services needed the update. We're going to accept it. 
You'll notice there's a preparing SIM card that kind of showed up in the background. Apparently, uh, we're still going through this process a little bit. Now, all my reminders and everything are starting to pop up along the way. That's pretty neat. And meanwhile, we're getting this uh, Google Play services across the network connection. Maybe they'll have a fix to the, what this thing does sometimes. Sometimes you'll see that on Wi-Fi it doesn't, um, it doesn't show all the, all the steps along the way to downloading a file completely and all of a sudden it's just done. Pretty quickly the phone pulled a Google Play update and a Buffer app update on its own. And now, upon checking in the Play Store, I need to uh, go through and get a few more application updates. As of yet, I haven't had enough time to use it and the install hasn't settled down enough to really get a feel for how it's going. It seems pretty smooth. You can see some of the changes in the icons, but um, it seems to be working pretty well. It's eating up some good battery though. It's dropped about 3% quickly. We're gonna see how this continues or if it doesn't. Um, anyway, I'll continue these discussions later.